room to pass there. Pearson's got to make it now or never. After this lap's finished, there's only one more left in the race. The white flag is out. And Cale Yarborough's just about one mile away from victory. Pearson hangs on, looking for any chance to pass. All Cale's got to do is to keep her running for the rest of this lap. the checkered flag for Cale Yarborough. Pearson's challenge fell one car length short. The Wood Brothers are mighty happy to see the end of one of the most fantastic races ever run. Buddy Baker moves to take the checker in third spot. Charlie Glotzbach took fourth. Cale Yarborough's made a boyhood dream come true. Cale said, it was the hardest day I ever had the hardest race I ever ran. One look at Kale's face, you know that's the truth. This win gives Kale Yarborough victories on four major super speedways in one year. The first time that's been done by anybody in the history of NASCAR racing. He also has passed the $100,000 mark in purses earned in a single year. Also in victory lane is Bobby Allison, who received the Bob Colvin Memorial Award as the best driver performing without factory help. Honors also go to Richard Brickman. Two car spin coming out of turn two. It's Henry Gray involved in his second accident of the day. And James Hilton goes with him this time. Hilton will try to keep it running, but for Henry Gray, limping around to the pits, this was not his best day. There are two laps to go. Pearson has closed in on Yarborough. The caution signal slows all cars. Will the green flag again signal for high speed? There's the white flag on the front stretch, and the pace car is on the track, leading Cale Yarborough on the last lap. They'll finish the race under yellow. Cale has his hand raised in a victory salute. He's done all the high speed running for the day. There's nothing left to prove. Cale Yarborough is the fastest who ran longest at Darlington this afternoon. Cale Yarborough cruises into sight of the checkered flag, running no more than 90 miles an hour. It's hard to believe the first race run in 1950 was won at an average speed of 76 miles an hour. Yarborough's winning speed, 134 miles an hour, a new record. His crew runs to meet him at Victory Lane after flashing the traditional sign that means, come in, we'll help you spend part of the first place money. Garbro's victory was a popular one. His fans in South Carolina are many and loud. Cale Garbro wheels to Victory Lane to meet his crew. As Junior Johnson put it, some of the crew got ill when the car was wrecked so often, but there's no better medicine than to win a big race. There's a hug for Herb Nabb, the crew chief, while Junior Johnson waits nearby. If that pit stop had gone wrong, if Cale hadn't been able to catch Pearson in the final laps, well, riots have started for less in this part of the country. Yarborough is joined in victory circle by his wife, Betty Jo, and their daughter, and Herb Junior. team with Cale for a victory here. Two years ago, they were the mechanics on Bobby Allison's winning car. Yarbrough Chevy is running like a watch, even though he nearly hung it on the wall hundreds of miles ago when he spun to avoid Allison and Panch on the third turn. This track has been good to Yarbrough, but he'd probably agree with Bobby Allison, who said, you never can figure it out. There's something mysterious about this track. One time it's good for you, other times it's like your mother whipping you. The checkered flag waves as Cale Yarbrough wins the 25th running of the Southern 500. Junior Johnson, Herb Nabb, and the Carling crew have been hoping for victory since Glossback looped and parked on the apron. Still, you never know until your car goes under the checker. The checkered flag stops the race as Yarbrough turns towards victory lane and a $25,000 first place check. 
first place money is equal to the entire payout in the first Southern 500. This is Yarbrough's third victory before a hometown crowd, and he couldn't be happier. Yarbrough's average speed was only 111 miles an hour, as many laps were run under the caution flag. But Yarbrough was able to turn laps at better than 148. Yarbrough is cruising the last two laps. Coming off the back stretch, he'll be looking for the white flag at the finish line. And there it is, signaling one more lap to go. 32 more seconds. Four more left turns to complete 367 laps. Although Waltrip's closed to within five seconds, Yarbrough's going to win this race if he keeps it running another half lap. Yarbrough's winning game plan was simple. Stay out of trouble in the early laps. Race with men you can trust. Give everybody else a lot of room. Make your pit stop a little faster than the next man. And always use your head. And there's the checkered flag for Cale Yarbrough. It's four hours, 17 minutes since the green flag waved. Cale can coast around now to meet his crew in victory lane. Coasting has never been Cale's style. 13 years ago, Cale was charging for the lead when this racetrack almost chewed him up and spit out the pieces. He was running wheel to wheel with Sam McQuag when suddenly Cale Yarbrough went flying out of this racetrack. As Cale steps from his car in victory lane, the first man ever to win the Southern 500 four times, he has to have some memory of that moment. There's nothing as great as coming back from defeat to win the Southern Fire. But look at the task That's Richard Petty that the white flag is out. They've only got one lap to go, but Richard Petty's car got very loose at the rear end. The back end went out. The task smoke was there. And, and, and did you see it again? The same task smoke. Honestly, it doesn't look to me now as if Richard Petty can catch him. He's just given them too much racetrack. Cale Yarborough must be breathing a little easier right now. He saw that happening in his rear vision mirror. As he comes around, he's coming around to turn number four, and he will get the checkered flag. It doesn't look like Richard Petty is going to be able to do it today. Everybody standing, waving on Cale Yarborough, his fifth Southern 500 victory. The two closest to him are Bobby Allison and David Pearson, each with three. So he's put quite a distance between them. What an honor. So, Cale Yarborough is our winner. Second place goes to Richard Petty. Third to Dale Earnhardt. And fourth, Bill Elliott. We'll return in just a moment to talk with the winner, Cale Yarborough. Plus, an update on what's happening today in the sports world. And the conclusion of the International Gymnastics Championships from Rome.